3DX Guitar Freak, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo from the classic ACDC song, You Shook Me All Night Long. Now, I have two pieces of advice I want to give you before we get started. The first has to do with your tone. You don't want to use a super high gain tone, okay? This is not a Metallica song, uh, this is ACDC. It's very pure, direct, SG plugged into a Marshall type tone, um, so keep your gain relatively low, alright? Now, the second thing is um, uh, effects. You don't want to use effects, okay? Put away the reverb, put away the chorus, put away all that stuff. The only thing that I, that I typically might use in an ACDC solo is a little bit of uh, like a slapback echo or delay. See what I'm talking about? It's not a super high gain tone maybe a little bit of slapback echo or delay, that's about it, all right? Um, and then one more thing I want to mention, you know, Angus Young has always been one of those guitar players that he just pours himself, he pours his whole body into every single note. So with this one, I highly recommend that you take your time, slow down, and dig in, man. Just dig into those notes, all right? <laughs> all right, let's get started. All right, section one goes like this. Slowly. All right. Now, my advice there is for that first bend, you want to hold it up there at the top of the bend for a second before you add the vibrato. All right. And then that fifth fret bend, where it's a it's a descending bend, you're basically starting, it's a half step up and then you bend down, okay? So you bend it up a half step, hit it, and then come down. All right? And at the end when I do that, a lot of people miss that last note, that last uh, fifth fret on the D string note. It's played relatively softly, so keep that in mind. All right, let's move to the next part. All right, section two. All right. <laughs> Those little uh, half step bends. You could do a quarter step bend there too, but it, to me it feels like a half step bend. Now section three. Slowly. All right. Now, in terms of that one, uh, the tabs are pretty self-explanatory. Should be somewhat uh, easy to follow. Um, obviously, when you do that tenth fret bend the first time, you've got that blended note there. when you hit the 10th uh, fret of the high E. Okay. Alright, section four. Slowly. lot to explain there. Obviously that first bend, it's a kind of a wild one. <laughs> uh, and then followed by a, a pre-bend and released. Right? And I think um, the one thing that people typically miss in that is, is adding that vibrato at the end. Right? You're fretting the 15th fret of the B and, and the G. Right? Give it a little shake before you go down. All right? <laughs> Let's move to the next part. Section five. All right, let's break that up into some little smaller chunks. So first, okay? And then that 17th fret pre-bend, what you're doing is you're basically bending the 17th fret of the E up a full step before you pick it and then pick it and apply vibrato, okay? 
and then and then the last part all right <laughs> slowly he has that little hectic vibrato where you kind of tense up your whole forearm at least i do when i do that type <laughs> All right, that was my lesson on how to play the guitar solo from ACDC's You Shook Me All Night Long. I know that was a quick one, but it should, it should be a quick one to learn too, in my opinion. All right, if you have questions, let me know and I will answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.